Well, good morning, good afternoon, maybe good evening, good night, but good day, sir. Today we have some things planned. Wentworth has soccer in approximately 23 minutes. I have to make breakfast and get them dressed and head out the door. I also have to wrap some Christmas gifts. Because Christmas gifts? We're going to a birthday party, so I need to wrap some Christmas gifts. It's right after soccer, and um, then today I need to bring Eleanor shoe shopping. I'm gonna go into an actual shoe store. We went to Once Upon a Child the other day. They didn't have shoes for her there. We need some black. We need a few shoes. Um, but I also have a Once Upon a Child haul to share with you. It's like a kid consignment shop. I also have a grocery haul. This video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Thank them so much for supporting my channel. And of course, I thank you for continuing to support me and be my friend through my sponsorships. I wish I could give you a hug. It really does mean a lot. That was my hug. I guess you're shorter than me. I guess you can be up here. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> my weirdness coming out again. Okay, first things first, breakfast. My plan was pancakes because we're so out of food. We need food. I might actually go to a grocery store too and pick up some fresh produce and chop that along with you. We'll probably also clean around the house. Who knows what the day is going to bring. Let's just get it started. I will share my Thrive Market haul in a little bit and I'll share more about them when I show you the haul. Do you ever challenge yourself to get things done in a certain amount of time? I feel like that makes me more productive. It could also totally overwhelm me and stress me out. I'm just making a quick pancake mix i don't have any milk i'm actually surprised that i even have eggs so yay for that cracking it with two hands who am i so i'm just adding good old water perfect let me get some pancake action for you i love watching people cook pancakes i don't know why it started with what who was it chippendale who made all those pan oh chocolate chips i mustn't forget almost forgot kids won't eat it unless there's sugar involved Okay, I usually do this with a scoop and precise measurements. Ooh, not today. Get your soccer clothes on, you have soccer. And then you have Liliana's party. Liliana? Wait, Liliana's the one who's gonna marry you? Yes, one day. Oh my gosh, I haven't even met her parents. So I had dad pick out the birthday gifts. This is what he picked out. Well, I Wentworth picked them out. And some really huge uh, pool thing. I don't even know if this girl has a pool. So I figured I would pull out my box of treasures and just add a couple things to it. So a necklace activity, cool. I have this Flotonia sparkles, yes. And uh, I think that should do it. Maybe one of these instead and voila. We have a birthday gift. Well, we made it out of the house and we're rushing a little bit, uh, but we made it and that's all that matters. Here's my view. Oh my gosh, it's like crazy nice outside today. The wind, the wet, what is this weather? This is lovely. You don't want your book? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Do you see this? Hold what? There's a stray baby little kitten. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Hi, honey. Hi, it's okay. Oh, hi. Where's your mama? Oh my gosh, the cat is just prancing onto the field. <laughs> taking a stroll around the trail here while Wentworth plays. Oh, someone with their doggy. There's so many people out walking today because the weather is so nice. Well, it's normally 125 degrees here in Florida, but I wanted to show you these water bottles. I got them from Target the other day. This one's not like the cutest. I found some of the cutest prints. They were a little pricey, but I feel like water bottles in general are normally pricey. This one really got me. What amazing. It's the end of the school year, but I figured I can't find their water bottles anywhere. I don't know what happened. This is the brand. I actually forgot the name of it, but I'll try to link them below. They have a ton of different prints. I shared it on my Instagram the other day. I share a lot on my Instagram, guys. Follow me there for more amazing content. <laughs> Wentworth just kicked a good one. <laughs> he got to two bases. By the way, I feel like I told you he was doing soccer practice. Sometimes they play soccer. Sometimes they play capture the flag. Sometimes they play kickball. It's like 
just getting them outdoors and moving and getting their energy out. That's all that matters. Oh, we're at the birthday party now. <laughs> With the whole fam, they're just lounging in the tunnel. Whee! <laughs> Look at these decorations, aren't they darling? Look, make a splash. Little mermaid theme. So cute. We just found out another word Meredith can say. Say bubbles. Bubbles. The best part of a birthday party. Look at this cupcake. Don't you wish you had one? Don't you wish your cupcake was good like this? Forget, forget Meredith. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh yeah. I think these cupcakes have been in the sun too long. They're falling apart. I tried to cut them in half. You know that trick where you like put the bottom on top of itself? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got home from the birthday party. I put Meredith down for a nap and let me tell you a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. So I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you why we're going on this field trip to Goodwill. So uh, that's where we're going right now, Goodwill. I also, I think I'm gonna pick up some produce and we'll chop that up in a little bit. And you already saw this if you watched my thrift with me that I found the most amazing, incredible outfit that I've ever seen in my entire life. And for whatever reason, I didn't buy it. I have massive regrets about it. And I am going to semi be in that area anyway. So I'm gonna stop in and grab the outfit and get on with my life and live the happiest life I've ever lived yeah. in that outfit. I'm gonna wear it Monday through Friday. Uh, for the rest of my life. <laughs> we have arrived at the Goodwill and I'm thinking, what if someone bought it? We're gonna find out. You gotta do the mall walk. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, make way, excuse me. I think I see it. I think I see it. This is where the sets are. Yes, thank you. No one else wanted it. Look, they didn't even fix the hanger. That's exactly how I hung it up yesterday. Man, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. I like it. I'm so excited. Come on, Avalina. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. I like it. Look what I just found. Sadly, I don't think it will fit me, but what do you think, Avalina? Oh, this, this is incredible. $7 for this. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! I cannot believe that they had that outfit still. Uh, I know some of you are like, who else would buy it? <laughs> we also found a hula hoop. Everyone could use a hula hoop. Hula hooping all day long. Hula hooping in the sun. Hula hooping at good We don't come to this Costco a lot. It is an absolute zoo. Guess what this Costco has? Samples. Guess what it is? Chocolate. They must have known I was coming. Check it. Honey butter mixed nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, macadamia nuts. Oh yeah. That is interesting for ten dollars. Uh, do you see everyone in the background? It's like doomsday all over again. Why are there so many people here? Okay, we are finally home. Ugh. And before I share with you a Costco haul, I'm going to share with you my Thrive Market order. All right, let's crack into it. So this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. If you don't know about Thrive Market, they are on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. It's also convenient on top of everything else. You can order on the app at your leisure. I like to order on the app like whenever I'm in the kitchen thinking about needing something or late at night when I'm scrolling thinking, oh my gosh, I need to make my grocery list. And bonus, Thrive Market has an auto ship feature so you can make sure that you never run out of the staples that you always need like toilet paper or dog food or cleaning supplies or pasta in my case. I feel like I'm, I always eat pasta. Woo! I ordered this a while ago. It's been sitting, I've been waiting to film this video. So I almost forgot what I got and I'm so excited about some of these things. You can also save money when you use the auto ship feature. I think it's like 5% or 10% depending on what item it is. 
And speaking of saving money, uh, Thrive Market members save on average $32 every order. And Thrive Market has everything you need, high quality, sustainable products. They have everything you need from organic and essential groceries, clean beauty, safe supplements, non-toxic home cleaning products, and so much more. They have baby stuff. Just browse their website and I promise you, you're going to really find something that you're going to enjoy. When I'm on their website, I always look for the new items and they constantly have new items to scour through. And I'll also mention that their website is super easy to navigate. You can easily shop at different lifestyle choices from keto, paleo, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, fair trade certified, all the amazing things. And Thrive Market delivers to you from their zero waste warehouse using carbon neutral shipping, which I'm always impressed by. Talk about being impressed. I got some really great stuff here. Speaking of great stuff, if you're interested in their memberships, they have two membership options. They have a one month membership for $9.95 a month or a 12 month membership that's $5 a month. It's billed at $59.95. And that's the one that I choose. You guys have seen my Thrive Market orders every month for quite some time now, at least six months, right? It's been a fun journey. They've been really great to me and supporting my channel and I'm so thankful for that. Oh my gosh, some of these things, it's great. And then other things like, who did I think I was when I was ordering this? Cashew flour? I must have really fallen in love with cashews. Oh, speaking of, so if you want to, you can use my link if you wanna sign up. You will get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. And one of those gifts is cashew butter. I just looked at the updated list. Oh, not only that. Okay, hold on. I think I got a free gift in this order. And I have to tell you something. Thrive Market is really great about that. Always providing free gifts and great sales. They email you with all the um, details if there's like a sale going on or something. And I take full advantage of all of that. So my link will be in the description box below thrivemarket.com slash the wads if you want to get 25% off your first order and a free gift. So I'm going to organize all of this and then uh, show you everything that I got. Here is the haul as a whole. It took me a while to get everything out because it was like noisy. I didn't want to make a bunch of noise. So I'm going to show you it all. Let's start over here with the beans. I just got a couple thing packets of black beans and then three packets of garbanzo beans. Al uh, what's her name? Avelina likes to eat those just as an after school snack. I don't, you know what guys? It's healthy and I'm happy for her. I also fell down the rabbit tube. Rabbit tube? Can I speak? I don't think so. The rabbit hole of YouTube into like a bunch of vegan cooking videos. I used to make hummus all the time with some tahini. This is raw tahini, sesame seed butter. And I thought, what better place to buy it than Thrive Market? And I ordered, I was watching like a, you know, vegan recipes video and she was using it. And I just pulled out my app and ordered it right there on the spot. I also grabbed some almond extract. Love that stuff. And I'm out of it. And it makes me sad every time I go to use it and I don't have it. I also grabbed some hazelnut on almond butter. You guys, this is a great Nutella replacement. It doesn't taste like Nutella. Uh, obviously nothing does literally even the knockoff Nutella's do not taste like Nutella but let me show you why this is so much better so Nutella has correct me if I'm wrong 22 grams of sugar and this one has eight yes eight same serving size isn't that incredible Nutella is basically like icing like cake icing it's delicious but it's not healthy. So if you're feeding it to your family for breakfast, you might want to look into an alternative. I think you'll really enjoy it. This Justin's brand has some really great stuff. And then Alex, I got this for him last time. It's uh, the Dr. Bronner shaving soap. He really liked it. So I picked up another one for him from by his request. And uh, my kids are out of bubble bath. So I grabbed some shampoo, body wash and bubble bath. Like it still amazes me that something can be a three in one for kids. It's for everyone. It's like a more gentle brand. And I love it because Thrive Market always sells better brands like this. And I always know whenever I'm ordering from Thrive Market, it's going to be like a more natural based product. Uh, this one is Berry Blast, which I have not tried before. So I guess let me open it up. Yeah, man, that smells just like Berry Blast. <laughs> what does Berry Blast uh, smell like? I don't know. Okay, and then I grabbed these hippies. I love these hippies. I wish they sold bigger bags at a conventional grocery store and not just Costco. So this is Himalayan happiness. So it's just like a salted hippie. And then my kids really like the Sriracha Sunshine. 
It's a little bit of heat, but my kids enjoy that. And then my favorite are these cauliflower stalks. And I couldn't remember if Costco, because that's the other place I got these from in a massive bag, but they don't sell them anymore. So I'm happy that Thrive Market does. I got the sea salt, two bags of sea salt, and then I got a bag of cheddar flavored. And I forgot which kind Costco sells, so I just got uh, you know, this many. Grabbed a couple other snacks for lunches, peanut butter minis, just like peanut butter crackers, no big deal for kids' lunch boxes, and then almond flour crackers. This is rosemary and sea salt. Doesn't that just sound great? I grabbed some of this vanilla cake. What? It's gluten-free and it just sounds really fantastic. Vanilla, like who doesn't want a vanilla cake, you know? I got some rice. I got some cashew flour. Don't ask me why, because I don't even remember why. I just thought, <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> I grabbed some Lara bars. Uh, they're like the kid style Lara bars. They're fantastic, natural ingredients. My kids love Lara bars. They don't have any added crap in them. Watch, this one has a bunch of added crap. No, okay, yeah, they're known to be like a better for you brand. Listen, there's still some sugar in here, but it's natural sugar, so I'm a little okay with that. And then same with this one, Z-Bars. It has a little bit more protein, a little bit more fiber, and all that good stuff. And then I found this protein sugar cookie. How can I say no to that? I think last time I went to order this, it was out of stock. So I like added it to my cart or had it remind me or something, I don't know. So when it came back in stock, I definitely put it in my cart and I'm happy to have that. So now I'll show you everything that I got from Costco. And now it is time for Costco. This is everything that I got, not a huge haul, but it's definitely big enough for what we need for the week. Hopefully, well it's not everything, but it'll suffice. So let's go over the fruits over here. I told you guys, when it hits below 70 here in Florida, I have to put on my sweater. So I have blackberries right here. We actually picked some wild blackberries. Um, I guess it's been like a month now, but they were so delicious. I figured, well maybe store-bought ones will taste just as good. They probably won't. If you want some blackberries and you don't want to spend however much this was, I'll try to put the price up here. It was probably an arm and a leg. Uh, you just go outside, find a field. I bet you'll find some this time of year. Cashews, we're out of cashews. We, I got a couple things of strawberries. I'll wash those up. Raspberries, my kids eat like one at a time. Blueberries, I've been liking these with my yogurt and let me show you what I got for my yogurt. So I got these. I can't remember if I shared them with you or not but they're called take-alongs and um, they have a couple different compartments so I can put my granola in that middle compartment and then pop it with a top. I'll be good to go. I got a bundle of bananas. They're quite large and I should have probably got two of them but I just got one. Look how big they are. I got two pineapples because one is never enough. And then I feel like when I buy two, one just goes completely rotten, so we'll see what happens. I have one bag of green beans and broccoli. I love roasting these in the oven. Flour tortillas, we had tacos the other day, and I re ran out of tortillas, so I'm happy to have those back. Got some apples, the kids have already dug into those. Apple a day keeps everything away. I got some black seedless grapes, and they are nice and crunchy. I know this because I tried one out. Well, I can't get it open, okay? This is my weak hand. <laughs> is that mold? I don't know, not crispy. Alex said it's not crispy, but Avelina said it was crispy and I just trusted her, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of black grapes, but I'll get over it. I like the green grapes. They didn't have any. I also got some cilantro, pepperoni for lunches. I got some veggie straws for the kids' lunches. And then hidden back here, because I don't want you guys to know how unhealthy we are, I got some pizza rolls, mostly because I aim to please and the kids always ask for them. And I don't know, they're gross. If you've had one as an adult, you know they're kind of nasty. Meredith got into my dang purse. And then I guess we're having hamburgers tonight, so I got some buns from Publix. Oh, and some chips. Did I show you the chips? I'm probably most excited about those. Let's wash this stuff up in a little bit. I also got a chicken, because you can't leave Costco without one. And then these are the hamburgers we plan on eating. They were an arm and $20 for all of these. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It worked out to like $3.50 a pound. Kind of crazy. We'll see if they're any good. <laughs> Moving on, I have a Once Upon a Child haul to share with you. I went to Once Upon a Child because Eleanor, which one of my children? How many of them? She needed, she needs, I didn't find them there. She need. well, she needs a couple of shoes. Some black shoes for a dance recital that's coming up. And she also needs like some easy slip on shoes for school. The ones she has right now need to be like tied in the morning and double knotted. And she just wants a pair that she can throw on easy go, but not flip flops. Uh, sadly, I did not find 
anything for her at Once Upon a Child, which I normally do, but I did find some other stuff, so I'll lay it all out and I'll show you everything that I got. So here is most of it, and then I have some of uh, some stuff behind me. My main focus was the baby, because I just feel like her clothes get ruined so quickly. She just like digs in the mud and dirt, and they get stained, and she eats like a slob, so <laughs> all her clothes get ruined really fast. Uh, plus, she's growing like a dang weed, and she's just growing out of most of her clothes, and it's summertime. She needs some summertime fun stuff. Wentworth over here, I got him a couple of things. Those snuck into the pile. They're not new. And then over here for Eleanor, I got a few... Nope, that is for Avelina. A few pairs of shorts, so she's always complaining. I don't have any shorts. $2.50 for those. $1.50 for these. And then... $4.50 for these, but I think they're a nice brand. Yeah, Land's End. I feel like that's a quality brand. $4.50 is a little steep, but for nice little biker shorts like this, so comfortable, she'll wear them all summer. And I like that they're not like hoochie coochie, you know? And then I got some capris for Avelina. Some of them are like more athletic. She really likes these, some joggers for bedtime. So like these were $2.50 and they are Old Navy athletic these were two dollars and fifty cents and they're nice two dollars and fifty cents for those a dollar fifty for these they're just like a capri legging type of style and then two dollars and fifty cents for these they are pants and they're a bit thicker but i feel like for um sleeping that'd be good for her and then i found this shirt and i thought oh that's so cute i actually did i buy this for avelina or eleanor i don't remember but it was 250 they're basically the same size for Wentworth over here, I got him a couple shirts. These were in like their 4th of July section and I just couldn't contain myself. I don't think they like scream 4th of July so he can wear them all year long. I mean, you can wear for any 4th of July thing all year long if you have pride for your country. $2.50 for each of these. Ooh, $5.50 for these. And they're Nike, which is nice, you guys. He has, well I shouldn't say has, he had, I bought four pairs of these nice, I don't even know what they're called, like basketball type of shorts. I can't find one single pair. So I've been on the hunt for some of these. I mean, they're normally all black and then with like a teeny tiny Nike stripe. But I thought these are better than nothing. And he, I just feel like he's more comfortable in those, especially when he play, I mean, he always plays outside. The kid is so tan because he lives outside. I also got him these shorts. Uh, these were $1.50 and they have pockets, which he loves a good pocket. This one, uh, this shirt is super cute. At $2.50 and that is summertime fun. All right, Meredith over here has the best stuff, right? So my favorite thing that I got for Meredith is this. Look how stinking cute this thing is. I wish they had it in my size. I could not leave it at the store for someone else to just parade around life wearing it. I felt like um, little Meredith needed this. It is basically Old McDonald had a farm in a jumper. I mean, is that what this is called? $5.50. I would have paid $15.75 for that. $2.50 for each of those shirts. I got her a couple of dresses to, ooh, whoa, $6.50 for this number. What was I thinking? You know what I was thinking? Meredith looks so cute on a boat. We don't have a boat. <laughs> Maybe she'll wear it to the beach or something. We have not gone to the beach yet this year. Maybe we will this weekend. $4.50 for this number. I loved the back. I just thought it was so adorable. And then this one was $3.50. It's like an old navy cotton dress. This shirt was $2.50. Who doesn't love a good dinosaur on roller skates? This dress was a $4.50. They price things by brand, so, you know, more expensive is like better brands. You know, I think Target is a pretty good brand. And then I found this bathing suit and Meredith has a three bathing suits, but now she has four. <laughs> Listen, we live in Florida. We go in the pool almost every day. So, you know, one more bathing suit won't hurt. And then I got a couple pairs of shorts from Meredith, this peachy color. I actually think I just got a pair of shorts like this from the thrift store. Maybe we'll matchy match. And then just some $1.50. So I wasn't planning on sharing this with you. It's a little loud because Alex is doing his car now. I just cleaned out the van, which I try to do once a week. I normally share it on my Instagram, sometimes I don't. So I just cleaned it out, believe it or not, this is tidy. Wow, it's louder than I thought. Okay, not too bad, right? I just vacuumed, which is fine. I cleaned everything out, looks great. Uh, but the carpet looks so terrible. So, since this is what they see in the car line, 
I brought my carpet cleaner out and I'm just going to try to get up all these spots and I have my handy dandy brush cleaner and that seems to get up a lot too so I'll show you the after. Hopefully it's better. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. I bought a battery the other day and they said, oh, do you want me to put it in the car? And I thought they would put it in the trunk, but they put it here, so I got most of it up. I couldn't get this up, sadly. But I got all of this up. This does not look like a stain in real life. I don't know, it looks great in real life. And bonus, I don't think I showed you back there where I don't know what was on it. A big, huge orange stain, but that came up too, so. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Normally, I take all the carpets out and do them, but doing them by hand was just fine. I thought, well, I still have water. I might as well just do the seats. Oh my gosh, I'm cringing at how much tar is coming up, how dirty it is, how filthy it is. I couldn't even believe it. On the passenger side, all of this gunk was coming up and I thought, oh my gosh, is that like dead skin? That is absolutely disgusting. And I come to the realization that something must have spilled there because it was just atrocious. And even if that's just dead skin, uh, lie to me, okay? So this is the final product. Um, I ran out of water, but you can see the difference between what I cleaned and what I didn't over here insane i should refill it uh but you know i'm not going to <laughs> yeah no maybe next time can you tell where my countertop ends and the jug of water begins and by water i mean mud man that's filthy bet you want to drink it ew you i bet you're right you want to drink it i'll give you 10 bucks <laughs> I'll pour some in a cup <laughs> challenge accepted I'll don't do don't look at our pantry oh, i know you're I'll looking there we're, we're gonna fix the door I'm thinking about I'm not a new going door. to fix it. No, I'm going to fix the door. I'm thinking about getting a new door. Oh, good for you. We're going to get a new door. That's cool. It's going to be like one of the, the ones that like retract into the wall. But there, there isn't be. enough wall. I know. That's the thing. So it'll, I'll make it <laughs> really just cool. go right there. And it'll, blo it'll block my back machine. I'm already embarrassed. <laughs> Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. I didn't want to interrupt this beautiful song. It is called You Can Take Me High. Okay, that's enough. Uh, it's by... I don't know, something, I, I can't find it right now. But, uh, as you can tell, I'm washing fro fruit and produce. My kids are more likely to eat it if it is ready and prepped. And I have these containers, and a lot of you ask me where I get my food prep containers, uh, the fancy ones anyway. They're from Amazon. And you guys, as I'm looking at it right now, it's been about a week that they've been on sale. I haven't shared it, I just thought, oh, it'll be a flash deal over with tomorrow, but it's been a solid week, so I figured I'd share it with you, and um, they're on sale. They're normally $49. I know. 
$49. I got them on sale. So um, they're on another sale right now. They're $38. So you get the large one, the medium size one, and then two little baby ones. So if, you're, if you've been in the market for them and you've been waiting, now's the time. Go, go, go. I'll try to remember to link them below. No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Without you You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Spoke. Life's been good to you, and I see that you're with someone new. Maybe you. I'm moving on to dinner, and I'm getting my chicken ready. And one hack or trick that I always do. I hate calling things hacks. One thing I always do when I get a chicken is all the grease that goes to the bottom of that little container. Ooh, that is liquid gold is what I like to call it. And I just pour it in my pot, mix it in with my gravy, and it. <laughs> that's Meredith. It makes the best tasting gravy you've ever had in your life. Don't waste it, you know, use it all. And if you're extra good and domestic, you can take the bones from the chicken and make some uh, bone broth. Say bye, Meredith. Hello. Hello. So we've moved on and started some laundry. Laundry, am I right? I wish I could say something motivational or uplifting. But all I can think of right now is, you'll have more tomorrow. <laughs> and, and that is the truth. Probably by tonight you'll have more, right? Um, I did want to add maybe some a little tip for you little laundry tip well tip well maybe it's a tip okay here we go let me just say it so sometimes I'm watching TV I don't get a lot of time to watch TV I'll add that Alex and I have started watching Golden Girls uh, we started uh, I want to say a month ago we're at about episode five <laughs> like that's how long it takes us to watch something so right now I turned on The Handmaid's Tale. Ooh, and tell me if you guys have seen that, watch that. It's such a crazy show. It is rated R, just a heads up for that. Anyway, so I turned it on and I thought, well, instead of eating my weight in potato chips, maybe I'll just keep my hands busy by doing some laundry. And that seemed to help a little bit. I do have a little stack of potato chips on the couch that I did finish, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I got the laundry done in about 15 minutes, and then I, it's like an hour show, so I had about 45 extra minutes to uh, eat my potato chips. I'm just saying, okay, best of both worlds. I will carry on without you like you. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed your time. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market. My link is in the description box below, but it is also thrivemarket.com slash the wads. If you want to get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. I'll see you next time. Oh, subscribe if you want to put a little happy in your day. Bye.